Greetings, my friends. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would be so kind, please subscribe if you like what you see, help our channel to keep growing, and keep fighting the war to save pop culture. Together, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. Enjoy, and thanks. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and once again, proof emerges that what I've been telling you for years is true, confirmed by Fox News itself. I've been telling you all along that Bob Chapek was on our side, doing his best to convince the Disney board of what he knew and what we have known for many years now, get woke, go broke. Now, in an article on Fox News titled, Former Disney CEO Privately Complained to DeSantis About Pressure from Woke Left Amid Florida Fight, Fox confirms what I said all along, that Chapek and Susan Arnold were fighting the woke culture established by Iger at Disney, that the board was the stumbling block, that Chapek tried to make his move after getting a three-year renewal, and was ultimately fired by the board for the changes he was trying to make. Many people hated Chapek and said you were crazy thinking he was doing what he could to turn back the woke tide inside Disney. But here we have DeSantis telling Fox that Che Peck called him and personally complained about the wokeness. So let it be said, though I am loath to say it, it appears from this that everything you've been talking about regarding Che Peck and Iger seems to be proven correct. In short, once again, Doomcock was right. In this instance, it appears so, gentlemen. An awful lot is revealed in this article, and even more is implied when you consider the ramifications of what is said. So, without further ado, let's discuss this important article, which gives us an objective, outside of Disney's view, of JPEG's true opinions and attitudes when it comes to wokeness in showbiz. While it is unfortunate that JPEG was forced to cave into the demands of the woke mob when it came to the Florida legislation, the inaccurately labeled Don't Say Gay Bill, it was a strategic retreat under enormous pressure, and JPEG would try once again to institute changes in the Disney culture, which is ultimately what got him fired. But let's go ahead and look at this article. In this piece, Fox News writes, quote, as the showdown between Florida's legislature and the Walt Disney Company heated up over an education bill that liberal activists incorrectly labeled the Don't Say Gay Bill, Disney's then-CEO called Governor Ron DeSantis and complained about the pressure he faced. DeSantis recounts the conversation in a chapter of his new memoir, The Courage to be Free, Florida's Blueprint for American Revival, which will be released Tuesday by publisher HarperCollins. The chapter, shared exclusively with Fox News Digital, reveals what Bob Chapek, who was Disney CEO at the time, told DeSantis as the fight over Florida's education law heated up in the spring of 2022. As the controversy over the parental rights and education bill was coming to a head, Chapek called me. He did not want Disney to get involved, but he was getting a lot of pressure to weigh in against the bill, DeSantis writes. Yeah, well that pretty much lines up with what you said at the time. Chapek got in trouble for keeping silent about this don't say gay stuff with all the purple haired little holdos that Iger had recruited for Disney. So they rose up and the board got agitated and Chapek had no choice but to do what he did. Correct, RV Cthulhu. Chapek deliberately kept silent about the controversial bill because just as I said a few years ago, Chapek was trying to depoliticize Disney. He wanted to get back to making politically neutral entertainment for all audiences, not out of some do-gooder attitude, but because he knew that 50% of the population isn't as profitable as 100% of the population. When you alienate one side of the political divide or the other, you are cutting your profits essentially in half. Go figure, but there it is. JPEG could do math. Anyone who is sane could do the math. And yet, sanity is in short supply at Disney these days, folks. Sad to say, sanity 
is something that has gone out of style. JPEG's silence was deliberate, was not an act of neglect or inattention, but unfortunately, Iger's woke loyalists inside the company pounced on his silence and pounced hard. As the article continues, quote, We get pressured all the time, JPEG told DeSantis, according to the governor's book, but this time is different. I haven't seen anything like this before. JPEG told shareholders that he had called DeSantis on March 9th to urge him not to sign the bill, which restricts schools from teaching gender and sexuality to children in kindergarten through third grade. How very, very controversial. I know, it's, uh, it's just so unreasonable not to go ahead and tell kids all about gay stuff and, you know, transgender stuff and when, when the kids don't even know what the hell the stuff is for in the first place. I agree with you both, but alas, as I said, common sense is not in, uh, shall we say, ample supply at Disney. Activists nicknamed it the Don't Say Gay Bill, despite the legislation not using those terms. According to a report from the New York Post, JPEG had privately expressed his hesitancy to involve his company in the political issues in Florida, the home of Disney World, in the months prior. But the pressure campaign within Disney and from Democrats nationwide ultimately convinced him to take a stand." Unquote. Now, here's where I disagree with the article. JPEG wasn't convinced. He was coerced. Consider, JPEG was trying to walk a fine line here. He knew he had to demonstrate to the woke half of the board that Get Woke, Go Broke was a real thing. They were doubting Thomas's, as incredible as it seems at this point. Anyone with an active brain cell remaining in their head can see how woke movies and shows bomb and bomb hard over and over and over again, but unfortunately, a lot of the Disney board is either too dense or too intimidated by ESG companies like BlackRock and Vanguard to take the steps necessary for their investors to make some profit. JPEG was fighting an uphill battle, and in light of the overwhelming pressure he got from Iger's forces inside the company, he was forced to make a humiliating strategic withdrawal. This convinced a lot of folks that JPEG was not on our side. But that apparently is not the case, if this article is correct. This article is proof of a lot of what I've said, at least fundamentally at its root, a peek behind the magic curtain at what JPEG really thought about this crap. So here we are now. JPEG, it is rumored, was making a big move trying to get Nelson Peltz a seat on the Disney board in an effort to tip the balance away from wokeness and towards politically neutral content creation. Because JPEG knew beyond any reasonable doubt that divisive political activism was alienating a large portion of the American public, and it was this crap, with reparation raps, drag queens and their not-at-all-secret gay agenda being inserted into children's performing, all of these tragically woke missteps had taken their toll and resulted in only about 35% of the American public approving of one of the most historically quintessential American companies in the world. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Mickey Mouse. These were all American institutions until wokeness poisoned that well and lost Disney the goodwill of the American people. This is sad, my friends. Iger's presence at Disney shows that the balance once again has tipped over toward the woke side of the equation. But when it comes to my Hollywood spies rumors, when it comes to my claims that a Disney Civil War has been raging, it appears that all of this was entirely correct. I don't know if things can be fixed in the future, if the balance will once again tip the other way, but I do know that we must keep fighting voting with our wallets against this woke garbage, calling out this woke tyranny at every opportunity, and as always, my friends, we must stay angry. Ha <laughs> ha
Ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha 